Hello, and welcome to On My Shelf. Today, I have a lovely middle grade story about family, new friendship, and wrestling. Tumble by Celia C. Perez is a story about Adela, Addie, Ramirez, whose mom and stepfather approach her with a life-changing proposal. Her stepfather wants to adopt her. But Addie has never met her father, and her mother never talks about him. So she goes on a journey to find him and meets his entire wrestling family. Celia C. Perez is also the author of The First Rule of Punk and Strange Birds, A Field Guide to Ruffling Feathers. The First Rule of Punk was a 2018 Pura Beltre author honor book. I loved this book for several reasons. Number one, the main character's journey was sweet and sincere. She loves her stepdad, but she has so much curiosity about her dad. Her stepdad is very supportive through the entire thing as she searches for her dad. It's not that she doesn't want to be adopted by her stepdad. It's just that she feels like she's been missing a piece of her past. So she feels torn the way a child of divorce always feels torn. I also felt a connection to Addie. She had many of the same questions I had about my missing dad. Why did he leave? Why did he stay gone so long? Didn't he love her? It captured accurately the way a 12-year-old would feel in that situation. And the third thing I love was wrestling girls. I loved that Addie's grandmother was a great wrestler and that one of her cousins was trying to become one. In a sport dominated by men, I loved all the small ways that Addie and her cousins reminded their grandfather that girls could wrestle too. From the craft perspective, I really enjoyed the mystery around Addie's dad. Early on in the story, Addie had questions about her father, and it was very clear that she didn't know much about him. Her questions were also the reader's questions, so she took readers on the journey of finding her father and trying to discover who he was. I also enjoyed the richly drawn characters. Addie's grandmother was an accomplished wrestler, as was her grandfather. Her uncle once wrestled, and now sews costumes and makes masks for other wrestlers. Her cousins wrestle and wear costumes. Her best friend takes charge and directs the school play. All of these characters felt very real and authentic to me. It reminded me, yet again, to pay close attention to my supporting characters. They can drive story and tension and conflict. I also enjoyed the emotional journey of Addie. She learned a lot about herself in this book. She also learned a lot about other people. She learned to trust her mother, but she also learned to challenge her mother. And the people around her changed because of her learning, too. And this reminds me to make sure a character's journey isn't just her journey, but it's other people's, too. Because we're all connected, and our changes change others, too. So here's what we can take away from Tumble. Number one, plant mysteries early on and all throughout, if possible. This is what keeps readers turning pages. If there are small questions in their minds that need to be answered. Sometimes this can be actual mysteries. Sometimes it can be something a character refers to in passing that isn't fully explained. Every question should have a purpose, driving the story forward. Perez did this first with the mystery of Addie's dad, and then with the mystery of another supporting character who was sort of aloof and always seemed to be doing something he shouldn't be doing. Number two, Remember to turn conventions on their head. Perez did this with the wrestling, making a space for girl wrestlers too. It reminded me to look for ways to do this in other places. Put women where they're underrepresented in sports, careers, and spaces that are traditionally male-dominated. Question everything that's been set up. Stir up a new kind of reality. And number three, be bold. Addie was bold in her search for her father and her attempt to meet him. Perez was bold in upturning conventions. And this reminds me to be bold when I'm creating stories for children. Children question everything. Like Addie, why couldn't Rosie, her grandmother, be just as great a wrestler as Pancho, her grandfather? Don't forget to ask questions. That's it for today's On My Shelf. If you want to hear an author's perspective on books, TV shows, and movies, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.